Hi guys, Tonight, uh, today we're gonna make some uh, grilled breakfast tacos. And we're gonna start by cutting all the vegetables that are gonna go in there. So, I'm gonna start by cracking some eggs in this bowl. Probably about five or six. Make sure they haven't expired. Do all of them. Good. And you can get a, another dozen. So that's about four, four five, seven, eight, about eight eggs in here. Eight large eggs. start chopping up all our vegetables that go in there. So I have, I'm going to put some onions in here. I'm just going to chop everything up so I'm going to dice them. I'm just going to mix this up, mix the eggs up first. Put some tomatoes, some Roma tomatoes. Hey, Sandy. Hot water. Hey, Crystal. What color? Okay, one more tomato. Installed. I'm like, the installation costs as much as the radio. So I'm like, 30 to install. 
I said Korean Mayo radio off Amazon. Oh, yeah. Amazon, Craig, buy that mug. They sell the same thing up there, like a $16 radio. They sell it for 35 Right. Hope y'all can see what's going on down here. Almost done with cutting the tomatoes. So we have onions, tomatoes in there, and we're going to put some chopped cilantro in there also. So, cilantro. Rinse it off. Squeeze all the water out. Start chopping them. I also have some uh, fresh peppers from my friend's garden, the, uh, my friend that works with me. She always gives it to me, but she knows I'm going to make something with it. So I'm going to use these, the red ones, and maybe one of the little ones. I know these are spicy. They look like serrano peppers. Probably use this one, and maybe, I don't know about that one. Might do one of the green ones. This one smells spicy, but we'll see. Just gonna cut it in half and take the seeds and the stems out of there. It ain't too spicy. So I'm just gonna chop these real thin. I'm just gonna taste one of them, see if it's spicy or not. Alright, that's too spicy. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. Yeah, the red one is really spicy. It's still burning my tongue. So I'll stick with the, the lighter colors. Now we're going to season this with some sea salt, ground black pepper, and some Creole seasoning. And I also have some smoked paprika, garlic, chili, and chive spice blend. I am making some uh, 
grilled breakfast tacos. So, some, some sea salt in there. Some ground black pepper. A little bit of the Tony Saturis Creole seasoning. And some smoked paprika, garlic, chili, and chive spice blend. Okay. Let's mix it all up. pan, saucepan, whatever you want to call it. Here's the griddle that I'm going to use to grill it. First I'm going to cook the eggs, then I'll make the tacos, and then I'll grill them. Hey Brian. Hey, oh, thanks, Crystal. seconds then I'll add the oil to it mm -hmm. one little thing. hi Karen okay. I'm gonna add the vegetable oil to this you can use any type of oil Check and see if the oil is hot. So you can put a wooden spoon in here. If it starts sizzling, then you know it's hot. <laughs> you want the oil to get really hot, then you can put some eggs in there. You want the eggs to cook real fast. Let me know how it goes. Okay, I think it's hot enough now. I want it to go as soon as I put the spoon in here, but it's not. So we'll give it a few more seconds. Careful when you pour it in here. <laughs> Gotta make that sound. Oops. Oh yeah, I used to do that too. Put some. Uh, I would dip a fork in my egg mixture, then put it in here, and if it starts sizzling, that's when you know it's ready. You just start mixing it because you want it to scramble.
You're welcome, Carol. water in the oil. I'm scared to do that. But yeah, use the wooden spoon because I guess the metal, it doesn't, you can't really see anything. But with the wooden spoon, it kind of sizzles when it's really hot. I'm going to cover it right now. I'm going to lower the heat. I'm going to let it kind of steam so the onion is kind of softer when you're, you know, when you bite into it. Just let it finish cooking. Kind of let the steam do its thing. Thanks, Sydney. My butter ready. <laughs> now you try to uh, catch your uh, kitchen on fire with that plastic spoon. Don't y'all try that, okay? <laughs> I did melt one of my plastic, uh, not plastic, but the yeah, plastic uh, cutting board. I had put it on my uh, on top of the grill. I mean, not the grill, the stove, and I didn't know one of the thing was on, so it kind of melted one of the sides. This is done. This is done. So now we're going to start making the tacos. So to make the tacos, let me get my tortillas and my cheese ready. So I'm going to put this over. Yes, I'll list the ingredients when I'm done with this. So I have some tortillas in here. These are store-bought tortillas. Uh, I get my uh, tortillas from HEB. They make it in the store and they put it in this hot box. So when you get it, it's really hot. So let me get my tortillas out here. Line them up two at a time. Put my cheese. I also have these uh, hatch pepper Monterey Jack cheese from HEB. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> let me make sure it's still good. Really? All right. Okay. These break apart real easy. So. There, I need a spoon. Put a few scoops in here. We're gonna make ours really fat. So two, three scoops. I don't have any turkey bacon, so I'm not gonna put any type of uh, turkey bacon or beef bacon in here, but I'm gonna put some cheese in here. You can use any type of cheese. You can use shredded cheese. It melts faster. So put it in there. Roll it up like a taco, just like that. Stuff might come out, just push it back in there. And now we're gonna turn it back around. So 
so you can see. Yes, I'm in Texas, I'm in Houston. Okay, so we'll get it closer. this griddle with some butter, real butter, not margarine, but the real deal. I have some uh, challenge unsalted butter right here. So I'm just gonna go like this. So you just put it down, kind of push it. Let's do about a 30 seconds, see if it gets real brown. Thanks, Joanne and Liz. right here. Oh, Killeen, that's uh that's by Temple, Texas, right? So let's see if it's brown enough. Yep, it's brown. See, stuff you're coming out, just push it back in there. Put your timer on for 30 seconds. And we'll be done in a few minutes. Yep. <laughs> Hey, Lisa. This griddle, man, I use it for everything pretty much to make uh, burgers, you know, the patties. I can use it for to grill stuff, just all kind of things. Hey, Susie. So let's see. Let's put this one for a few more seconds. Hey, Eloy. Okay. And I know this is ready now. So I'm going to cut it in half so you can see the inside of it. Cutting them right now in half. So, okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. See? All that stuff in there. The cheese has melted, I hope. And everything's cooked and everything's good to go. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. I will post a picture when I'm done making a bunch of them because I got two teenage boys. They're like, you know, 18 and 20. Then a husband was like, you know, oh, not that old. Just kidding. <laughs> But I got three men in this house, plus me, so I got to make a bunch of these. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.